Hello, in this video, I'm gonna tell you why are you uh, why are your messages not transferring to your new iPhone? If you are transferring via iCloud, then there may be a little issue and you should try going to settings and uh, first um, go to your Apple account at the top, then go to iCloud and now find messages. You can see I have them set to off, but you should have them set to on in order to be able to transfer the messages between your Apple devices. I'm unable to enable it, but this is because uh, like of a very weird setup with my uh, iCloud devices. I just have like multiple ones and it won't work. Uh, but, uh, and also uh, my iCloud storage is almost full. So maybe that is, um, that is the reason, but we'll talk about that later. So if you are syncing your messages through iCloud, then uh, you should technically disable that then re-enable it again and see if it works. It may take a moment to transfer all the messages, so um, try waiting even several hours, depending on how many messages there are. Uh, you can also try the next day to see, but uh, there are some more things that you should do. I mentioned the full storage. Uh, our iCloud storage, if I go to my iCloud, I should actually go to my... Um, iCloud storage here at the top, you can see it's almost full. And it's because like I have some backups, some iCloud photos, iCloud drive, garage band, stuff like that, some other things. You may want to, for example, see the backups. Let's see what I have in backups. I have like seven different devices. I don't think I need seven different devices to be backed up. Uh, this is probably all the same device besides this iPad. Uh, they are just like, for whatever reason, uh, backed up differently. So I'm, I'm just gonna delete the backup for some I don't need, but make sure that you really don't need them. Okay, let's hold on a second. Yeah, and I'm just gonna delete it for for some for some different ones, just so I have space for my um, for my messages on my iCloud Drive. You can also instead of that just expand your iCloud Drive with a subscription. I think it's just like one or two dollars for the minimum subscription of like 50 gigabytes. So yeah, I've freed up some space already. <clears throat> you can see I have a half a gigabyte, not too much, but I think it may be enough, just enough for the messages to work. So I'm gonna try enabling that. Yeah, maybe it's just a problem with my configuration, as I said. And uh, yeah, but it should work in your case. And um, that should let you um, just transfer the messages. Also, I think if you're transferring it from, a, from an old phone onto a new phone, it is way better to transfer it via transfer method during the setup. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is a way better method. You can find videos on, a, on our channel about transferring data to your new iPhone. Um, just type in your model in our channel and transfer data. You'll probably find it. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, but also uh, maybe there's some bug going on with your phone. So you may want to go to general, then go to software update, see if it's on the newest version. If, it, if it's not, then install a new update. If it is, restart the phone anyway by pressing and holding on power and either of the volume buttons. Then find the slider, try sliding it. To, I'm not gonna release it because I don't want to power off the phone, but uh, yeah, uh, try just sliding it, waiting for half a minute, then pressing and holding on the power button until the phone turns on. Uh, now the next 
part is um, <coughs> uh, is uh, also uh, trying to signing out of the Apple ID on your new iPhone. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to sign out. I'm going to sign out, but don't erase. But also, if you haven't done, like, done anything on your new iPhone yet, you can erase it because erasing it will let you transfer data because transferring data is only available once the phone is not erased, uh, once the phone is erased. So, yeah. Um, but I'm not going to erase. I'm just going to like sign out of the Apple ID. Uh, but as I said, erasing will help you because you can transfer the data like bypassing the iCloud, just physically transfer the data onto the new iPhone. Uh, but I'm just going to be doing without erasing because I don't want to lose my data that I have on my phone. I'm just going to go to Apple account. Then you can sign in manually. I'm going to use another Apple device because I have that older phone with me. So I'm just going to move it close to the iPhone, click on get started enter my pin on my car on this older iPhone then scan this fun little code now on this iPhone still will probably get asked about yeah I'm gonna set up for me but you can set up a new child account as well And now let's wait, it'll take a moment, so I'll get back to you shortly. And now I'm signed back to, back in, so you may want to go to iCloud again and try enabling their messages. Yeah, you can see it actually might work. Yeah, it actually worked in my case, so it's interesting. <laughs> um, now, um, also on your older iPhone, you may want to enable the messages in iCloud and that may work. There will be a sync now if there are any messages in iCloud available. I'm going to disable it for, for my own reasons. Um, but um, yeah, and I hope that this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.